Let's learn how to instrument in an event end-to-end -end in Acquia Lift. Here's our scenario. We've been asked to track whether or not a user is a member of our website. And while not comprehensive, the acceptance criteria has two parts. That the user has clicked on a link from our Drupal website with the URL user within it. That we're later able to segment those users in Acquia Lift. This tutorial assumes a few things. That Lyft is installed on your website, that you use Google Tag Manager, and that there's a link somewhere on your website, perhaps in the menu, with the word user in the URL. First, let's create custom column metadata in Lyft called Membership Status. Go to Admin, Manage Configuration Data, Custom Column Metadata, and add new column metadata within Lyft Profile Manager. Fill out the form with the following information, leaving the rest as default. Display name should be membership status and the display order should be one. The table should be person and the accessor should be custom field four. Note that this will be used later, so pay attention to this value. The type should be string and check the is visible in person detail box. The description can be anything you'd like. For now, we'll say membership status collected for the user. Under segmentable, select the matches and contains operators. And the category, you can type person properties. This should be a type ahead field, so it should show up as you type. Check ignore case when comparing and save the new column metadata. Now let's go to tag manager. We're going to create the trigger and then we're going to create the actual Google tag. Within tag manager, click triggers, click new, and give the trigger a name of something like login click. Add a trigger type of clicks, just links, and set this trigger fires on to some link clicks. Under fire this trigger when an event occurs and all of these conditions are true, set the variable to an auto event variable using element URL contains user. You may need to create this auto event variable within the variables area in Google Tag Manager. Save this trigger. Next, let's create the tag. Click tags and click new. Give the tag a name of update person. Add a custom HTML tag. Within the tag editor, paste the following script and pay attention to the methods, the key, and the value used. Update person is our method. Person underscore UDF4 matches with our accessor that we set earlier in Lyft Profile Manager. And true is just an arbitrary value. Because we set this as a string, for now we'll just say true. You could use whatever you'd like here. And note that the update person method is just one of a few different methods that we could use from Lyft's JavaScript API. You can find those at docs.aquia.com. Scroll down and under triggering, click the box and associate the login trigger with this tag. Now save the tag. Okay, great, let's test. First, we're gonna test on our website. Before we leave Tag Manager, click preview and then open your website. You should see the Google Tag Manager preview area within your browser window. Command click on a login link that has the user URL within it. And this should open the link in a new, new tab, leaving your Google Tag Manager preview intact so we can see if it worked. The tag update person should have fired within the preview area. Once that's working, let's just double check and make sure that Lyft has collected the data. Before logging into Lyft Profile Manager, grab the Lyft tracking ID from your browser cookies. In Chrome, you can inspect and then open Application Cookies. From there, copy the TC underscore PT ID for your website URL. Log into Lyft. In Profile Manager, in the Person search field, paste the cookie tracking ID from above. Now, click on your user and open the Profile Details screen. You should see the property Membership Status with the value of True for your user. Congratulations, you've just created custom column metadata in Lyft, and you've successfully used the Lyft JavaScript API to capture additional data.